I'm gonna be telling you what my most favorite knife is of all time, at least up until today. I know this is gonna change in the future, but in terms of the past two and a half years of knife collecting, this knife sets itself apart from any other knife that's out there. So sit back, relax, and let's get it. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Everyday Minimalist and today I'm going to be showing you guys my most favorite knife of all time. To put that in perspective, I've handled hundreds of different knives and I have well over a hundred knives in my personal collection. This knife was actually really easy to pick out just because of how unique it is. And to give you guys a quick little backstory, I did have a crowning jewel and that would have been the Benchmade Anthem. This knife was my favorite knife for over two years and I was just looking for a knife to kind of dethrone this one. One. And when I met up with my buddy Jake over at Bearded Gear, he actually brought his knife collection with him from California here to Utah. And he gave me the opportunity to carry this one knife. And that is going to be none other than the Koenig Arius. The first time I flicked open his Gen 2 Koenig Arius, I was hooked. That thing was super lightweight and I just had to get my hands on one. And unfortunately with Koenig knives, these things are ridiculously hard to get. And a matter of fact, it took me about a year hunting one down and I finally got one. And these things are not cheap. They go for about $730, which actually puts it in the upper echelon of my entire collection. I got mine at Urban EDC Supply. They had a few in stock, so I took the opportunity to purchase it. You guys might have sticker shock with that price point, but it is worth every single penny, and let me tell you why. First off, this knife is made and manufactured here in the US, up in Idaho, which is a matter of fact about four hours away from me. Next up to that, I don't think there's any other knife out there that has such high caliber, zero tolerance type of machine work. This thing literally drops shuts. It's one of the best knives in terms of fidget factor, and it is one of the most ergonomically comfortable knives that I own. If you guys have been following me for a while now, then you'll know that I don't normally carry full size knives. Let me give you guys a quick example. Here it is next to the Protec Malibu. And the Malibu is considered kind of like a medium sized knife, whereas the Air is definitely a full-size knife. But where it really shines is the overall weight. You wouldn't believe it when you picked it up. When I first handled the Arius, I was like, what the hell? Why is it so lightweight? It's got titanium scales. It's got this massive 20 CV blade and then some backspacers here. So you would expect this thing to be pretty tanky, but it's just the complete opposite. This thing is so lightweight in comparison to other knives in this size range. It's almost like if you were to take a carbon fiber bug out and then just expand it it into a full size knife, that's what you would expect. I think that's like the best way I can put it. After that, what's really important to me is the maintenance. How easy is it to tear apart and clean up? And this knife is just so easy. It's easier than any other knife that I have in the collection that goes for even like Chris Reeve knives. They're really simplistic and easy to take apart. But this thing is easier because there's only three screws and you can literally tear the scale off and get into the bearings to do some really nice thorough cleaning. And it would probably be a total of three minutes for a full thorough clean, which is just ridiculous, guys. It's literally the most satisfying knife I have to disassemble and maintain. So the next key point would be uh, the hollow grind on this 20 CV blade. It's incredible. If you think you've handled a factory sharp knife before, then you probably haven't because there is no other knife that compares to this thing in terms of how crispy it is. Let me give you guys a quick example. Here's a piece of paper and it's no problem. It cuts through this like it's complete butter and I don't even have to worry about it. The really cool thing is I carry this thing about 70% of the time and I use it all the time. This is an absolute user knife just because of how much I love it. And I have never sharpened it. All I've done to it is literally stropped it maybe like two or three times within the last six to eight months and that is it. It's cut through zip ties, paracord, rope, paper, packaging material, pretty much everything that you could think of in terms of 
EDC usage. It's an incredibly robust knife, so you can beat down on it. Trust me, I've literally batoned stuff with this thing and it's just fine. And that hollow grind is able to retain an edge. It's just so good, guys. I, I don't even know how to explain it on camera. You're just gonna have to handle one or trust me on what I'm saying. Let's talk about the fidget factor again. This thing does have a flipper tab and I am looking for an Arius without a flipper tab because it does look even more sexy. But the signature of the Koenig Arius is gonna be this cut through hole here. It's placed so well that it just feels super comfortable. You can fire it out with authority and it's fun to fidget with, especially with that sing that it makes when you go to open it. It's very unique and feels very high quality. Now, when you go to close it, it is drop shut friendly and it does make a very unique noise. Just listen to this. It basically clicks into place, makes a really nice ting when it closes, and then you can feel it vibrate throughout the entire knife. Just to reiterate, this thing is super comfortable in hand. It has an amazing fidget factor. So you can do it with the flipper tab, you can do a reverse flick, and the closing is just phenomenal. In terms of the overall build quality, it feels very premium, like top of the line, best of the best premium. Maintenancing this knife is extremely easy. All the screws on the knife are T8. You've got the pivot screw and then two other backspacer screws and the entire knife comes apart. And the last thing I wanna say about this is if you're dropping 700 to $800 on a Koenig Arius, you're gonna get your money back. The reason being is because the secondhand market, if you're trying to buy it on the secondary, it's gonna go up in price. I actually got a few offers of people wanting to buy mine for like 900 to a thousand dollars and i turn them down because of how much i love this thing so if you think it's a sketchy investment don't this is a knife that's going to retain its value and then also appreciate in its value hell if your wife gets mad at you just buy it and then sell it and show her that you got like a 200 dollars profit but there you guys have it my most favorite knife of all time the koenig arius of course it's probably going to change in the future so stay tuned throw me a like if you like this video throw me a thumbs down if you dislike this video and thank you guys so much for spending your time with me today we'll catch you on the next one peace out